Disney Plus and Thrust ruined my entire childhood in two seconds of reading that. This isn't what Walt wanted. Ah! Opens Disney Plus app. <laughs> Opens Disney app. Hashtag Disney Plus. I know, right? <laughs> Oh, it's accurate. My dad sent my family a group message immediately when it came out and was like, so do we get Disney Plus? And we all erupted. That's how my girls reacted, I'm not lying. And almost like, mom, Disney, and we can add it up to Hulu, and we can, I was like, you going too fast, you going too fast. When I downloaded Disney Plus, it was just like sensory overload. Like I genuinely did not know what my brain was doing. Me logging into my Disney Plus account today. It must be nice. I'm a broke college student. Like, I don't even pay for my own Netflix or Hulu. You know, like, unless my mom gets Disney Plus, that's when I'll get Disney Plus. I think, like, that whole day on the 12th, I was, like, literally spamming all about Disney Plus. I was like, people are gonna hate me. My kids were all over it, too, but my wife and I were just, like, we were ready for it. That's it, right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a time machine to being a kid again. Honestly though, Disney Plus isn't made for them. It's made for us. Everyone that I've heard like just raving about Disney Plus is my age. That's literally how I feel because I'm genuinely still so entertained by like children's shows. Like even new children's shows. Like not gonna lie, Andy Mack slaps. This is how some people are gonna look a week into Disney Plus trying to binge watch everything. SpongeBob. I can't Me. do it. I can't do it. I can't do it, Squidward. Yes, you can. And you will. I was literally thinking the other day, I'm like, I wonder if there's someone who's genuinely trying to watch every single thing on Disney Plus. There's probably people right now still watching <laughs> like binging Disney Plus and they haven't slept. You need to go to bed. To those experiencing issues connecting to Disney Plus, you can try troubleshooting the problem by following these two steps. Put some pants on and go outside. It's noon on a Tuesday. Listen, Joshua Gates. I'm not putting pants on and going outside. I'm gonna watch Smart House again for the seventh time. That's not much help. You watch Disney Plus inside without your pants, under your blanket with a pillow and a stuffed animal and a pizza on the way. I feel seen. I'm in this picture and I don't like it. That's rude. I'm just trying to vibe with Disney Plus. Let me live. That's so funny. It's like, you can't buy PR like that. All right, so we have a bunch more to show you, but as you may have gathered, today we're gonna take you on a little journey through the internet's responses to Disney Plus. I'm excited. A huge topic of discussion is the Disney Plus version of a certain phrase commonly associated with their now rival, Netflix. Ooh, yes! I want the tea on that! So we're doing Disney Plus and chill, or? Ah, oh, Disney Plus and thrust. Oh my god, my mom's gonna see this. I'm not gonna show it to her. Hear me out. Netflix and chill, Hulu and hang, Disney Plus and thrust. No. That's, that's too far. Netflix and chill. Hulu and hang. Disney Plus and thrust. Okay, well. This isn't what Walt wanted. Amazon Prime and 69. HBO and ride it slow. YouTube and get the lube. Okay, come on guys. <laughs> Amazon Prime and 69. HBO, ride it slow. YouTube and get the lube. What? <laughs> We're all in. We're all in. We're going in hard. <laughs> it doesn't really work that way for me when I watch Disney movies. I'm not the horniest I've ever been. This is terrible, but also so funny. Disney Plus and Thrust ruined my entire childhood in two seconds of reading that. The only one that's relatable right now is with Disney Plus and Thrust for sure. Netflix is like shaking right now. There's no more Netflix and chill. 20 minutes into Disney Plus and Thrust and the hunchback of Notre Dame turns into arch that back more, madame. <laughs> arch that back more, madame. Ah! Ah! <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> this is Disney, okay? Ruining it. I never thought about this scene from this movie going that direction. My childhood memories are a little ruined. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my God. I 
love people and hate people at the same time. Not even 15 minutes into Disney Plus. Oh my God, this is what one of my friends posted on his story. I've seen these. Not even 15 minutes into Disney Plus and you've got a friend in you. No, this is not right. I feel dirty. That's all that deserves. <laughs> it just keeps escalating. These people have no chill. Oh my gosh. Why y'all do Woody like that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, it's so hot in here. We're the worst. We're freaking sick. We're so sick. And it's great. It starts and begins, ends with the name is Woody. Let's just call it a day. When she agrees to come over and watch Disney, hey, that's right. I'm sorry, you have Disney Plus? <laughs> Should I bring popcorn? Why can't we just watch the content? No. I'm paying 70 bucks a year for it. I'd like to watch it. One of the most highly anticipated shows for Disney Plus was the Star Wars spin-off, The Mandalorian. I have seen the first episode. But one character in particular seemed to catch a lot of people's attention. And then adorable meme was born. Oh, I think I know who it was. This is Baby Yoda. That's what this is. Can't we all just stop calling it hashtag The Mandalorian and start calling what it really is? The Baby Yoda Show. I know. Yes! <laughs> ah! He's so cute. Cutie noonies. Oh! <laughs> What's the other little thing? The Groot, is it Groot on the... They should get together. They should be, have a play date. I wonder if they knew how big of a response they would get. I mean, it is everywhere. And I don't typically know what's going on. So if I see it everywhere, it means it's everywhere. Me high looking at my sub security cameras at CVS. Oh my God. <laughs> Me at the Target screens on your self checkout. <laughs> it's like the worst thing. Me. Me looking at myself in the Target checkout, like this is not what I look like. What the f That's funny. <laughs> Wait, that's even more funny. <laughs> Just thinking about it, cause uh, don't tell my mom, but I've definitely done that before. <laughs> Just looked up at the screen like, oh, hi. That's literally so me, except I make it into a music video. And honestly, the new cameras at CVS and Ralph's are like so good. They're HD, so I enjoy it. Do or do not, there is no try, boomer okay. Listen here, you little sh**. I shared this with one of my friends, actually. We were doing the OK Boomer thing at lunch. I think this is the best OK Boomer meme I've seen. This one really trumps it all. Oh my god. Boomer OK. It's like, like you're cooking a soup and you just added that salt for just a little bit of flavor. That's the extra meme on top of a meme, just a little salt. Is that, is that memeception? Salt Bay with Yoda with OK Boomer? Ha! <laughs> Got it. Another one of the big things that people seem to be discussing is the elephant in the room, Netflix, and how Disney Plus is stacking up with its other streaming competitors. So to finish our journey here, let's take a look at what people are saying about that. Oh, yes. Mitts are off. Three of you stand before me, but there is only one payment in my hand. I know, one payment. What do you keep? I love this so much. Now, this is the thing. Now, my daughter's gonna be like, see, you should've went with Disney Plus. Netflix, you're out. I have Netflix still, and I have Disney Plus, but now that Disney Plus is out, I wonder how much stuff I'm actually gonna like watch on Netflix. It's gone to the point where I'm just paying monthly on Netflix and I'm not watching much on it anymore. I'm ready to like throw out Hulu right now. Disney is pretty good right now, but I love my crime shows on Netflix, so it's kind of like, I'm torn. Just with Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, CBS All Access, it's funny because there's jokes of like, man, I wish there was like a way that we could just put these all together in one. And I was like, yeah, it's called cable. <laughs> and we got away from that. That's why you each pay for one thing. Each friend you have pays for one streaming service and you all just pile on to each other's. My whole family, I bought Disney Plus and they're like, hey, what about that password though? And I'm like, okay. Disney Plus got me abandoned in Netflix like, I don't wanna play with you anymore. <laughs> Andy's face, that's, that's messed up. Both of these streaming platforms can live in harmony. Like, it's okay. I don't necessarily think that's gonna happen because not all of the best films and television shows are Disney related. Netflix has like 
Paramount and Universal. Oh man, when the girls come home for winter break, I'm just gonna be Disney Plus and Hulu. Netflix is gonna have to take it. I don't know, no, I can't say that. I cannot say that. Netflix has a lot of the uh, Christmas Hallmark movie, you know, winter movies. That's a lie. I, I'm not gonna kick Netflix to the curb. How I feel about having Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, HBO, and now Disney Plus. <laughs> it's true. It's so much. It's like overwhelming. <sighs> <laughs> yes! I feel like Ursula. <laughs> Poor unfortunate souls. <laughs> it's almost like a completion, like, I have all the streaming services, and then a new one comes out and you're like, damn it. It does feel like all the Infinity Stones. But at that point, if you're paying for all those, you're paying for cable, bro. Like you're just, that's a lot. So before we thrust into this, <laughs> okay. do you have Disney Plus? No. I do. Yeah, we've got Disney Plus. Day one subscriber. Am I allowed to admit this in real life? I use my son's login. <laughs> <laughs> he uses my Netflix, come on. Payback. We've seen a lot of streaming platforms popping up in recent years and the competition is starting to get pretty intense. Obviously the internet can be a really useful marketing tool whether it's intentional or not. How do you think something like these memes you saw today or just internet conversations in general can affect people's buying decisions when it comes to streaming services? Oh, I think it affects it immensely. I mean, a majority of um, the world is on their phones 24 seven and that's just free marketing and free PR when people are literally like making memes about the fact that they got their account. It's basically free marketing. People make memes, people are talking about it. All it takes is for a, a meme to go viral and boom, people are talking about it, whether it's good or bad. I wouldn't necessarily look at that for myself and go, oh, I gotta get Disney Plus because of that meme that I saw. That's already coming to me because I'm already a fan. There's that whole conspiracy theory that Netflix was making bird box memes to get people's attention. When it comes to Disney Plus, I'm not so sure if it's really because of the memes because it is, it's Disney. So memes like the ones you saw today have seemingly become a way for people to bond over what's going on in the world with the internet kind of being in on these jokes together. Do memes or just internet conversations in general make you feel connected with these people around the world who also watch what you're watching or participate in the jokes that you do? I honestly think it's like so fun to just have that chaotic energy of like everyone on the internet is talking about something. Like with Disney Plus, it's like, yes, we're all 12 again and it's a great time. Part of me wants to answer yes, but part of me wants to say I'm always behind in the joke because <laughs> I don't keep up with the memes. <laughs> uh, so thanks to FBE, I can be a part of the community. So thank you, it's great. <laughs> I like being in on the joke. I like knowing what people are laughing about and it kind of makes me feel a little bit smarter. So I can kind of share those with people around me and then we all kind of get a laugh out of it together and stuff. All right, so finally, do you think that Disney Plus memes should continue to thrive to infinity and beyond? Oh Lord. Or should they take a magic carpet ride Jafar away? Oh, Jafar away, Ooh, puns are out the wazoo over here. <laughs> out the zazoo over here. <laughs> oh! Just like any other meme, they're just coming and going. They're gonna go away. To infinity and beyond, please send them to me because I will laugh. It's gonna be riding Twitter for a little bit, but I think it's honestly just gonna go away when it goes away. But that'll be when everyone already has Disney Plus, so they've succeeded in what they were trying to do. For now, I'm enjoying them. I'm sure in three seconds I'm gonna be like, bye bye Put that genie back in the bottle, I'm all done with it. Thanks for watching this supercalifragilisticexpialidocious episode of Adults React. To infinity and beyond. Hey, it's Sierra, producer here at FBE. You know what would be super comfortable to watch Disney Plus in? Some FBE merch. Check out shopfbe.com. Every t-shirt or hoodie you buy helps us bring you more videos just like this one. Bye, guys.